Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to the Hex Recreation. Today we are going to move on to the Vault or the Madhouse, however you want to call it. Now before I move on with the rest of this episode, um, most of you have probably seen on Twitter or I did put it on the YouTube community page on my channel. Um, basically I was an idiot, I accidentally um, deleted Hex's file and I can't get it back so we are starting over basically I am going to rebuild the, the main tower and the, the fountain square clock tower and the armory all off camera because you've had those episodes you've seen that already there's no point in doing another episode on it and so I'm going to do all of that off camera uh, but for this episode I thought you know what I've proven that I can do the madhouse in Planet Coaster let's do the madhouse so that's what we're doing this episode we are making the Earl's vault which is the only part of hex that isn't in the towers because uh, after the octagon pre-show you head down a corridor and that corridor leads you out of the towers and into the garden shed behind the towers and they do a pretty good job of making it feel like you are still in the towers but of course uh, you're not now uh, in the background there you will see the Larson Looper or whatever it is called in Planet Coaster, I have no idea what they call it in Planet Coaster, but that is how I managed to achieve the Madhouse. Uh, for those of you who want to do a Madhouse in Planet Coaster, um, use the Larson Loop basically. Make your make your Madhouse um, template and use the Larson Looper, don't use Rider Cam, uh, use the uh, Perspective Camera, I don't know what it's called, um, but don't use the Rider Cam basically. And yeah, you, and you can literally get a working madhouse and planet coaster. It works really well. I think originally I was going to try and do like a stop motion sort of thing, but well, um, that would have taken ages if I opted for stop motion. Um, but yeah, so I'm just doing the vault now and we're doing the columns, uh, these sort of column pieces that just go around the vault. Um, for something that's called the vault, it doesn't really look like a vault. So I'm sorry, but it, it, it doesn't look that much like a vault. In, in real life, um, the, uh, the sequencing the sequencing of the vaults is quite iffy uh, and you can't really replicate that in Planet Coaster. I have tried my best to replicate the exact sequence of the vault in Planet Coaster but um, whilst you can do the madhouse you just can't do the sequencing that well and because Planet Coaster's tools are so restrictive you know Frontier say that Planet Coaster is such a creative game and all that and it's full creativity but they don't realise how restrictive their tools are they are so so restrictive um, so yeah I couldn't get the exact sequence in Planet Coaster but I got around about the same sequence uh, for these little box things I don't know what they're called the parts that uh, connect to no connect the columns to the roof um, yeah I didn't want to um, make this vault incredibly detailed with tiny little pieces because a uh, this isn't necessarily going to go into the final recreation this is just for the cinematic and B I want to keep peace count down um, of course in Nemesis and Wicker Man a lot of people were complaining um, about how they can't run the park that well because Wicker Man's peace count is 60,000 Nemesis's peace count is 150,000 and um, yeah and I want to keep that peace count down which is why I'm deciding that I'm going to release Hex and the towers individually there'll be a, uh, a blueprint park of just Hex and that's just going to be the main Hex entrance the armory, the octagon and the madhouse and then I'm going to do another blueprint park which will include the entire towers and of course with the entire towers included that's going to have a much much higher piece count uh, so just doing the arches um, across the roof whatever they're called I think yeah it's just called them arches you've got these like tile patterns um, on the arches they're like really little fine detailed patterns of course you can't do that on planet coaster uh, I, I mean you could but it would be a lot of pieces uh, which is why I've just opted to use the roof tile pieces once again if you want to do like tiny little things in planet coaster roof tile pieces are your best friend always trust the roof tile pieces basically and just using the big wall pieces to make uh, the arches actually look intact uh, with the roof uh, so yeah, I've talked enough now, uh, you basically know what's happening, we're going to do the uh, the Madhouse. Uh, this episode is a bit iffy, I know it doesn't follow the exact structure of all the other episodes because this has been put together really quickly because of 
um, what I accidentally did on Tuesday night with the hex save file. I can't believe I've done that, but yeah, it's gone. I haven't been able to get it back. It is properly gone, uh, so I am rebuilding that. So yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Um, there'll be a full POV of the madhouse at the end of this video. If you just want to skip forward to that, that's completely fine. And so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.